Hello and welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Sim and I'm a South African that is currently living in Edinburgh, Scotland. So on my YouTube channel, I make videos about what it's like to live here in the UK and today's video is actually a really fun one because we are doing some exploring this weekend. We are taking a train down to London this weekend, one of my favorite cities in the whole world. So I'm always very excited whenever I get an opportunity to go to London. So I thought I'd bring you along for the train trip in case you are ever in the UK and maybe you wanna go from England to Scotland. And this video will show you just how easy it is to do that. With all that said, it's time to head over to the train station and I've already packed all my bags. It's back there. Don't need too much because we're just going for the weekend so the first thing we need to do is get a bus to Waverley train station here in Edinburgh we are on the move we are at the bus station now so we are just waiting for our bus we missed the first one but luckily the next one just comes in three minutes so it's fine we'll still make the train on time and I feel really hot I have this really warm coat on but I was worried that the train was going to be cold so I thought I'd rather be prepared for the journey, but I'll check in again when we're at the train station. We are just about to turn into Princess Street now, which is one of the main streets in Edinburgh and also the street that the train station is on. The traffic was really bad though, so we decided to get off the bus and start walking. We had some nice views along the way, so it wasn't that bad. Edinburgh is such a beautiful city and we still made it to the train station on time. And here we are getting on board for our five hour train journey to London. This is what your seat looks like. Nothing special really, but you do have a little table that you can pull down if you want to work or if you maybe want to eat something. Of course, I did bring snacks and I got these out pretty quickly. And then I just chilled and enjoyed some of the views from the train ride. And let me tell you, there were some really stunning ones. The next one is my favorite. Later on I prepped for some YouTube videos and then I also did some reading and got myself some dessert. I picked these up at Sainsbury's and they were so fresh and delicious. Definitely a 10 out of 10. We have finally made it to London. So we are at King's Cross Station at the moment, which you might know from the Harry Potter movies where platform 9 and 3 quarters is. But it's quite late in the evening now. We are super tired. It's about 10 o'clock now, so the train trip was five hours or four and a half hours, and it was quite long. It was really noisy as well. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was just a really long trip. So we are so happy to be in London now, and we'll start exploring tomorrow. We are staying at a friend's house, so we are heading over there now and we're probably just going to chill for the rest of the evening and then I'll check in again tomorrow. While walking out we came across the platform 9 and 3 quarters location and right next to it there's a Harry Potter shop which was unfortunately closed because it was so late but definitely a must see. Good morning, so it's our first full day here in London and I'm going through the tree <laughs> and we are just walking to go get some breakfast now we are going to a place called Milk Bar and I'm so hungry so really looking forward to that Milk Beach uh, Milk Beach, not Milk Bar <laughs> already thinking about drinking cocktails it's too early though <laughs> so heading out for breakfast now rest of the day we're just winging it we don't really have any specific plans and then we have a braai at our friend's house if you don't know what a braai is a barbecue braai is like a south african word for a barbecue so really looking forward to that and yeah it's gonna be a fun day in london
This is what Milk Beach looks like from the outside. I am absolutely obsessed with the tropical vibes and to be fair, it does look like a beach bar. I had the pink latte, mostly for the aesthetic of it, but it was also pretty tasty. And then for breakfast, I had fried halloumi and then I also had banana bread and on the side there is espresso cream cheese, which was a game changer, so good. We just finished at Milk Beach and the breakfast was really nice. I was expecting a little bit more, but I am actually full, so it's fine. Um, the banana bread was really good and there was a really nice atmosphere. So we are all filled up now. We have a bit of a shoe situation. Remember to bring comfortable shoes if you're going to be walking around in London. So next up, we are going to Primark. Just want to do a bit of shopping there and then we might go to Primrose Hill, which is apparently a place where you get a really nice view of London. So we might go there, not entirely sure yet. So we'll kind of just see where the day takes us. Quick update, so we were just walking around, winging it, and then we came across Abbey Road which is known for the Beatles cover for one of their albums. So we are walking down that road right now to like the crosswalk where the photo was taken, just to see what it looks like. It's just gonna be a crosswalk, but at least we can save you with really. it. there in the distance you can see the crossing with a Beatles fan walking over to get his photo taken. Of course we also had to do it so here we go. We also had to pick up some drinks for the bride that afternoon so we headed over to this wine shop and they had so many options including some South African wines and if you don't know South Africa has some really good wine so definitely try that out if you ever see some and then we just spent the afternoon at the bride. now on our way back to Edinburgh we had a really nice bra yesterday the weather was so nice we got a bit of a tan as you can see most sun that I've had this whole year and now we are back at King's Cross station the weekend went so quickly we were mostly just sitting on trains and eating to be honest but still had such a fun time in London and now we have a five hour journey ahead of us back on the train. From London we are in Edinburgh now we just got home from the train station the journey was a long one again so it was five hours we are super tired I am ready to just chill out and probably go to bed quite early because tomorrow is work again but the change of scenery going to London was really nice and it was really fun to see friends and have a braai. I feel like I didn't really get to show you that much of London, but I hope you still enjoyed this video. I think this is where I'm gonna end it off because I'm just gonna have some pasta now and probably just watch a bit of YouTube. And then as I said, go to bed early. But thank you so much for joining me on my trip to London. I'm sure we are going to have a lot more trips down to London and other places in the UK. So if you wanna see more videos like this remember to subscribe down below and if you enjoyed the video please remember to give it a like thank you so much for watching and then i'll see you guys again next week in a new video